All right, David here with Wow Cater, and today we're going to go over the essentials of becoming a catering courier with Wow Cater. So, what is Wow Cater? Well, we're a corporate catering delivery service located here in the San Francisco Bay Area. We're a startup and growing very rapidly thanks to the best drivers and the best platform for catering deliveries. All right, welcome to your onboarding session. Now you're going to be the front line of this business, which makes you the most important aspect in ensuring the success of Wow Cater. So in this video, we're going to be going over four parts. The first part will be going over the rules and guidelines. Second part will be going over the functionality of the app. Third part will go over zero cater and cater to meet orders. And finally, we'll end with proper setups. So here are the three critical rules. The most important rule is to not be late. I cannot overstate how important it is to be on time. If you are late, we will seriously consider terminating your contract. Now it is also extremely important to text in those zero cater codes on time. We have contracts with these businesses where if the code is not sent in within the 15 minute window, we will refund their delivery fee. It is also very important to have a great setup. Now this is at the foundation of what makes Wow Cater great. We want to provide them with a wow experience, and by doing that, we have to have the best setups. So by doing so, we will remove all lids, serving utensils placed with corresponding food, and all items organized in a manner that is appealing and aesthetic. Here is the app that you'll be using for deliveries. At the bottom here, there are four tabs. First one is for new orders. The tab we're on now is accepted orders. Then you have archived orders, which are past orders. And you have another tab for account, where you can manage all your settings. Now these are your future orders, and they are organized chronologically. At the top here on the right, it says I'm online. You always want to keep that online. This will allow me to see what orders you have, and will allow me to also assign you new orders. So if we click on one of these, that'll bring up this. It'll show you where you're picking up from, where it's delivered to, your pay, pick up instructions, and drop off instructions. Now it is important to always read the instructions as it can have critical information that you'll need for the delivery. Now if you scroll down on that page you'll see these buttons down here. Every time you leave your house to do a delivery you're going to want to click on my way start. This sends a notification to the restaurant to let them know that you're on your way. You also have a button for directions to pick up, button for directions to drop off, and a button to call either the pick up or the drop off location. Once you click this button here it'll bring up this list here. You have a button to complete the order, once you click that button, it'll bring up these buttons where you can add a photo or add a signature. Now every time we do a setup, you're going to need to add a photo. Now if no setup is required, then you'll need to get a signature. Once this is added, you can click complete and you're all done. Now here we have the Cater to Me sheet. You'll be given this sheet at the pickup location. And on this has all the information you'll need for the delivery. So, the time to enter the building is 6.05, and at that time, you're going to want to text in this code here, 88541, to this number here. As you can see in the order instructions down here, please arrive no later than 6.05. So it's usually better to arrive 5 minutes early than 5 minutes late. And sending in this code, you're going to want to send it in as close to 6.05 as you can shows how large the order is, where it's going to, the address, delivery instructions, and setup instructions. But again, the main point from this is that you're going to want to send in the cater to me code as close to 605 as possible. Cater orders. Now, a lot of the kitchens and restaurants that we work with use zero cater. It is absolutely imperative that we send in the zero cater codes on time or we will face stiff penalties. Here at the top, you can see where the delivery address is. You can also see above that 
how many people it's going to, and the name of the company that we're delivering this order to. Now over here we see the arrival window. This is a 15 minute window of when you're to arrive at the company. In this arrival window is where we need to send in the zero cater code. Right below the arrival time is the time that the client eats. This is the time that you should be done with the setup. Here is where you'll find the zero cater code and the phone number that you text that code to within the 15 minute window. Now do not send that early and I repeat do not send that early or late or we will have messed up that order completely. The best practice is to send in the zero cater code as you're going into the building and you should be going into the building within that arrival window. Here is where you'll see an alert if there's some pertinent information that you need to know about. For instance on here you have to have an ID to get through the security gates. Now down below that you have other instructions uh, for arrival as far as where you can park and who to call upon arrival if there is an on-site supervisor. Building access section is where you'll be able to find out information about loading docks which can be very helpful and then right next to that we have setup instructions. Below that you'll have miscellaneous items that are going to be used for the setup. For instance, the labels that will be placed with the dishes, plates, napkins, etc. And at the bottom below everything you're going to have a list of all the items that are going to be delivered. You're going to want to check these items off when you're at the pickup location to ensure that you have everything with you. So that pretty much covers it, but the main point I wanted you guys to take away from this is to send in those zero cater codes within the arrival window. Thank you. Okay, so I quickly want to go over some new practices that we're looking to implement. Now, Zero Cater has this 800 number that you can call in case there's any emergencies. Now, they also want us to call them if we're doing a delivery and the drop-off location says, hey, yeah, we don't need a setup or anything like that, then call Zero Cater and let them know that the drop-off requested that we don't do a setup. Okay, another thing we're implementing is this new button at drop off. So when you're doing a delivery you want to click that button when you're going into the building. Okay so when we're doing pickups we want to make sure that we're getting all the items in the uh, checklist here. So we'll check off all the items. We'll go through the pickups here. They'll be labeled. You'll be able to see what you have and check them off. Also be careful with these cameras. In the back, sometimes there's half trays. You want to make sure that there's nothing at the top in the back there when we do pickups. All right, so now let's go over setups. Setups are very important. They are the most effective way that we can wow our customers and ensure future business. All right, so let's take a look at the setup here. Now, there's a few things wrong with this and a few things they got right. Now, for all setups, in the beginning, should have your plates your napkins, and your silverware. Next, this salad should be moved over here with the salad dressing and the appropriate serving utensil. Now these side items here, all six of them, should be moved over here on the side with the lids removed and serving utensils in them as well. These trays should be brought forward to allow easier access and all the serving utensils should be corresponding to each dish. Just want to quickly reiterate here, you're going to first want to put plates and napkins, followed by your main entrees, followed by side dishes. At the end, you want to have your vegan options. And the drinks you can place either at the beginning or the end, that's up to you. Here we have four examples of setups. In example A, we have a very nice proper setup where all the lids are removed and serving utensils are placed with the corresponding items and it looks neat and orderly. Example B here is not so much. We have the plates and the forks over here out of reach. That should be brought to the very beginning. These items here are also out of reach. So you're going to want to be very cognizant 
of having a proper setup where everything is easily accessible. Example C here is a proper setup. All the items are brought to the front, plates and silverware at the beginning with the napkins, and now there are two items back here that still have the lids on them. But that is okay because they are duplicates of these items here. Well, now we have example D. And obviously, as you can tell, this is an improper setup where all the lids are still on them, everything's everywhere, and it just looks like a complete mess. Okay, now here's a proper setup that I'm going to go in greater detail with you. Now, the organization for how setups are done is first is going to be the salads, then comes the meats, then comes the starches such as potatoes and rice, and then comes the desserts, and lastly is the vegetarian items. The reason why we want vegetarian items at the end is so that way everybody does not eat the vegan's food. Okay, now here you can see that the rice was actually placed before the meat. And the reason why is because people are going to be putting the meat on top of the rice, so you'll need to be kind of mindful of things like that and use your best intuition. Now there were items on this table such as this basket of lemons and these small plants. Now when you see items like that, that is a great opportunity to integrate those into your setups and make them look as pleasing and aesthetic as possible. Now here we have a couple of examples of some good proper setups that look neat and presentable. I also wanted to note that for larger orders sometimes you'll need to borrow equipment from the pickup location. Now these larger orders will pay more and that pay is to reimburse you for having to return that equipment back to the pickup location. Also noting that not all deliveries will require you to turn in a code to zero cater or cater to me. Some orders are done out of house and not through one of these vendors. Okay, so let's cover some miscellaneous topics. Now preparation is crucial. You want to make sure that you have your bags and that they're cleaned and that you have your gloves with you as well and that there's plenty of gas in your car before you head out on the road. Now, when collecting a signature, if that signature is not legible, make sure to add their name in the notes section here. This notes section is also good to take notes of anything that is out of the ordinary during a delivery. Parking can be very difficult in downtown San Francisco. I advise all drivers to download Spot Hero. On this app, you can get parking spots nearby for as cheap as $2.40 and many times under $5. We also reimburse for parking $3 per delivery. Payday. So most people are surprised by how much they make with WowCater and payroll is processed on the 1st and 15th of the month, you can expect to receive a paycheck in the mail 5 to 10 business days after that. Check the path to ensure that it's clear from obstructions and trip or slip hazards. Assess the lift, the condition of the load, the weight of the load, and is the load balanced or stable? Position yourself for the lift, Keep your feet shoulder width apart and center yourself over the load. Use correct lifting techniques and keep your back straight. Bend your knees and squat down for the lift. Get a good grip and keep the load as close as possible to your body. Don't twist with your load. Change direction with your feet, not your torso. Remember, don't be afraid to ask a stranger to help you lift something that might be too heavy to lift by yourself. Most cases, they'll be happy to help you. Thank you for going through this training video, and welcome to WowCater.